Yo, yo, YouTube, what's up with your boy, Sports and Fitness Rants, I'm back, guys, click that like button, subscribe to my channel, what's up, y'all, welcome back, guys, welcome back, got another great video for you guys today, as usual, man, you guys know the deal on this channel, we must continue to set the record straight, stop the lies, stop the narratives, stop them from rewriting the history, y'all, and in this video, we're going to talk about how Michael Jordan stands on his greatness, he sells off his greatness, his brand sells off his greatness, not over media narratives or lies. None of that stuff. We're going to talk about this video, guys. And I want to thank everyone across the world. Everyone across the states has been supporting my channel, guys. Much respect to all you guys out there. I am truly, truly humbled by all support, guys. For real. It means a lot. And you guys know what to do. Turn the volume all the way up. Hit that play button. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes. And let's roll. So, yes, guys. Like I said, man. I've talked about this on other in other videos. Michael Jordan was never made by the media, so the media can never tear him down, right? The media never built him, so the media can never tear him down. I've told you guys this before. And what I'm often talking about or alluding to is the Michael Jordan's greatness. It was not a media narrative. What do we talk about on this channel? We talk about the narratives, the lies, the rewriting of history, the bending of reality. This is what they do now for these guys to sell. They have to sell you a narrative, sell you a false image for a lot of these guys. So when we think about Michael Jordan, he was never that. It was never the media hype. Yes, Michael Jordan was hyped up from in the media, but he wasn't built up from the media. The hype all came from what? His own court game. This is where the hype came from. It wasn't just a made up thing that the media was telling us. We watched it. Like I said, we grew up watching this stuff. And Michael Jordan earned a reputation on the basketball court. The greatness that he exhibited on the basketball court. Remember Nike signing him to that shoe deal with those conditions. They had to sell a certain amount of sneakers. All of these things. If Michael Jordan's game was not based off of the substance, based off of reality, right? Then his sneakers would have never sold. There would have been nothing to sell, nothing to sell to the people, nothing to push, nothing to promote. But they were able to promote Michael Jordan. He was able to be the most marketable superstar in the history of the NBA because of his game, not because of, you know, I said hyped up, made up stuff, right? This was not fictional. These are the facts. When you think about Michael Jordan sneakers, the Air Jordans, back in the day, how were they selling and how were they marketing the Jordans, right? They were marketing as what? Air Jordan, thinking that you could fly, right? It's got to be the shoes. This is what they told us as kids. It's got to be the shoes. So if I get the Air Jordans, I'll be able to fly like Michael Jordan does on the basketball court. They didn't make that up. They didn't say, oh, buy these sneakers and then fly like Michael Jordan. Right? And there was a made up thing he actually was doing on the court. You could actually watch the footage of Michael Jordan in a game on the basketball court flying through the air. The slam dunk contest. That's why the slam dunk contest was, was so iconic. Right? Because it helped to market the shoes, the Air Jordan brand. It showed and proved what we all thought that Michael Jordan was flying, even though it may have been for a couple of seconds, he was still flying. So much so. That he left everybody in awe as to how he was able to hang in the air and do all these things. That we wanted to buy the sneakers. We wanted to fly like Michael Jordan. Right? So it wasn't Michael Jordan being marketed off of lies or, na or, or narratives. They didn't just make that up. That's a true thing. Michael Jordan was out there doing these things. When you see and you hear people call Michael Jordan the greatest of all time. Once again, that's not a narrative or a lie, right? That's not something that just came out of thin air. They're not bending reality or rewriting the history. Michael Jordan earned that reputation. He earned that label. I told you, from the people. The people labeled Michael Jordan the grace of all time. He did not label himself that. We the people did this. Why is that? Because we watched it. We witnessed it. And we all pretty much agreed 
This is the greatest basketball player we've ever seen. No one's done things like this. No one's done more with less. No one's done more in less time. No one did it looking the way that Michael Jordan with the level of artistry and the grace and the beauty, the poetry in motion. No one was the, the competitor like a Michael Jordan, had the athleticism like a Michael Jordan, the leadership. All of those things rolled into one. Nobody quite did it like Michael Jordan, guys. And this is why he was labeled the greatest basketball player of all time. He earned that label. It's from the encore game. There was no narratives there. They weren't hyping up mediocrity. Michael Jordan was 6-0 in the NBA Finals. So that proved that he always raised his level of play when it mattered most. Right? Michael Jordan was known for being a closer, for being a killer in the fourth quarter. This is oftentimes why Vegas never bet against Michael Jordan. And what do you hear now? People say, oh, well, Michael Jordan and the Bulls were always a favorite. They try to make that into a negative now, as if that really means something. All that does is highlight Michael Jordan's greatness. There's a reason why people did not pick against Michael Jordan in an NBA Finals. There's a reason why, more often than not, the Bulls were the favorite in the Finals. They were not always the favorite, but more often than not, they were. That was due to Michael Jordan's greatness. His ability to come through in the fourth quarter, to close out games, to bring the Bulls back. Right? Snatch victory out of the, from the jaws of the feet. Michael Jordan developed an M.O. That was his thing. That was not a media narrative. That's not a lie. That's not me just pulling this out of thin air. Those are the facts. That's what Michael Jordan showed on the basketball court. So once again, he earned that reputation of being a fourth quarter killer for being a closer, for raising his level of play when it mattered most. So, once again, Michael Jordan stands on his greatness. His resume is what he uses to sell his brand. Not narratives, not lies, not made-up stats or accolades or fake records. No, it's the greatness on the basketball court. The eye test that we all watched and understand. That's how Michael Jordan sells. He sells based off his resume. This is why Michael Jordan still to this day does not promote himself on social media. He doesn't need to promote his brand by having an Instagram account or having TikToks or having a Twitter or having a podcast to pump himself up or to pump up his brand. Everyone knows what the Jumpman logo represents. Everyone knows. Right? I told you, Michael Jordan is recognized as the greatest of all time. He's also recognized as the bar. For all sports athletes, the most recognizable athlete in the history of the world, guys, it's Michael Jordan, guys. Don't talk to me about these soccer players. I don't want to hear it. They're not close to Michael Jordan, guys. No one was able to become as big as Michael Jordan did, right, without social media. All these soccer players you see, all these professional athletes now all have social media, all promote themselves, promote their brand, right? They all do. Michael Jordan does not have to do these things. Think about that, guys. Still to this day, Michael Jordan sells off of his resume, off of his greatness, off of his highlights. He still sells sneakers and everything based off of what he did on the court, guys. This is why when people watch highlights of Michael Jordan, they're blown away. But you don't have to watch highlights of Michael Jordan. You can watch regular games, an entire game. Just pick a game, guys. And I'm telling you right now, you will be amazed at what you see from Michael Jordan. You will be amazed at how Michael Jordan moves compared to other players. If you never watched basketball before, you never knew who Michael Jordan was, and I put on a game of the Chicago Bulls versus whoever, Michael Jordan would jump off the screen to you. He would jump out at you because he just moved differently than everybody else, guys. I'm telling you right now, that's a video footage. That's not hype. That's not lies. That's not a media narrative. Those are the facts, guys. Michael Jordan, one of the greatest athletes of all time in NBA's history, guys. One of the great competitors. Had the heart, the grit. Right? Played with the love of the game, man. Remember, Michael Jordan had a love of the game clause in his contract because he loved the game so much. Michael Jordan sells off of his resume, guys. He stands on his greatness. This is why they have to tear down these errors. They have to tear down Michael Jordan with lies. That's the only way that they can try to make it seem as if some of these guys are close to him. They must tear him down because his resume is so great. They can't explain it. So what do they do? Oh, Michael Jordan's only 6-0 and because he played nobody. 
Now, all of a sudden, Michael Jordan has Scottie Pippen, and now we're trying to make it seem like Michael Jordan had more help than anybody else in NBA's history. It's a joke, guys. Once again, they must lift Scottie Pippen to lower Michael Jordan. They don't do it for anybody else's teammates. No one else's teammates get lifted like that except for Scottie Pippen, right? Think about Michael Jordan's coach. They must lift up Phil Jackson and always bring up Phil Jackson to bring down Michael Jordan. Meanwhile, other players that play for great coaches, no one brings these guys up when they debate these players. No one brings up their coaches. Only for Michael Jordan, they must constantly bring up a Phil Jackson, right? Who came in with no coaching experience, had won nothing before coaching the Chicago Bulls. Meanwhile, Michael Jordan was already established superstar in the league. But they want to bring up Phil Jackson to take away from Michael Jordan's greatness. All of these things guys are done to take away from Michael Jordan. But yet and still, even though Isaiah Thomas is talking lies about Michael Jordan, still to this day like a big baby, even though Scottie Pippen's bassing Michael Jordan and the Horace Grants, Right? And the, the idiots on that podcast, the Gilbert Arenas and the JJ Reddicks and the Shannon Sharps and the Nick Wrights, even though all of these people are out there lying about Michael Jordan, creating false narratives, right? Trying to rewrite the history, right? Even though all that's going on, Michael Jordan still has not come out and defended himself. He's never created a social media account to talk back against this stuff. None of these things. And I've told you guys what, Michael Jordan doesn't have to do that because he stands on his greatness. His greatness speaks for itself. We're the ones who are going to stand up for Michael Jordan. We're the ones doing the talking. Michael Jordan ain't got to do no talking. Once again, his game speaks for itself. Why a lot of these guys today are all freaking hype. They're all, they're all what? They're all hype, no substance. They're all flash, all pizzazz, right? There's nothing tangible about these guys though, man. Not like Michael Jordan, guys. They're all smoke screens and narratives. Right? You hear this, oh, this guy's the greatest basketball player of all time. This guy's the greatest passer. This guy's the greatest shooter. This guy's the greatest scorer. Everyone's the greatest now of all time of this era. Meanwhile, once again, it's a creative narrative. Michael Jordan will always stand on his greatness. He will always stand on the resume. The way that he carried himself, his honor, his integrity, the class. These guys today, they stand on nothing. They stand on lies and media narratives. This is why the media is there now to lift these guys up, right, through narratives. That's all it is now. It's all smoke screens and mirrors, guys. You guys know the deal, man. When people try to bring down Michael Jordan through the lies, they can't do it. They can't do it. Think about it, guys. They've been trying to, they, they try to, everything on the extreme. Michael Jordan doesn't have, doesn't have a left hand now, right? We done with the 90s. All of these things they try to come up with to discredit Michael Jordan in his era. Not realizing all that does is expose this era. Because once again, if you have to tear down the past eras to make these guys appear that great or to appear to be on the same level, then these guys are not that. They're not on that level. They can't stand their own resumes, their own greatness. They must continue to tear those guys down, right? Oh, these guys are more skilled today. The NBA is more competitive today. These guys are bigger, stronger, faster today. But then when you turn the game on, I don't see that. Guys are never playing. They're always hurt. So they're not stronger. They're not tougher. They're not bigger. They're not. Those are the facts. The guys were actually bigger back in the day. So once again, it's a media narrative and a lie, guys. These guys load match all up and down the court. They didn't do that back in the day when I was going to watch basketball. But they want to be put on the same level as these guys. You guys know the deal on this channel, man. These are the facts. Michael Jordan stands on his resume, guys, on the greatness. Right? The Air Jordan brand was built over Michael Jordan's great, his all-court game. If his on-court game wasn't like that, the Jordan brand would never be like that. His logo would never been anything. I told you, Michael Jordan represents greatness and excellence. This is why you could be referred to as the Michael Jordan of. Remember that, guys. No other athlete in the history of the, wor in the world is ever called that. No one's ever called, you know, this of. It's always the Michael Jordan of. It's the Michael Jordan of, guys. It don't matter what field it is. I've told you, it could be soccer, baseball, football. It could be race car driving. These guys all know that Michael Jordan is the standard of greatness and excellence, guys. He earned it on the court. It was never through media narratives and lies. This is why they can never tear him down. These is with their podcasts, these fools on TV, they get exposed, guys, because Michael Jordan's resume, the video footage, backs everything up, guys. You know the deal, man. I'll catch you guys on the next one.